Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And where we find ourselves today is in Temple Cranley Old Church and Graveyard. And of course, this is in Porta Ferry. And there's an old grave there, which I'm going to show you, which is John Smith. And he's of Porta Ferry. And you can see the date there, which is 17. 69. So amazing to still have this, these old ruins. And of course the ruins date back to the 17th century. And in the uh, post-Reformation period, the church was taken over by Presbyterian settlers. And many of the surviving tombstones in the graveyard actually record the burial site of the Scottish settlers. And some of them are hard to make out. Um, most that you can make out are from the 19th century. But in 1662, the uh, church was taken over by the Anglicans. And so it remained their, their place of worship, actually, until uh, the new parish church of St. James, Bally Philip, was built in the 1780s. So quite amazing still have these old ruins as you can see and Bishop Robert I'm going to try and pronounce this it's spelled E-C-H-L-I-N-S Anchelins family fault is actually here and Robert was born in 1576 and he died in 1635 and he was a Scottish clergyman in the Church of Ireland he was Bishop of Down and Connor from 1612 to 1635 and he became a better enemy actually of the Presbyterians at first he embraced them but then he became their enemy and one of his sons Hugh Etchelon was uh, actually murdered at Cal Caledon Bridge in County Tyrone during the uh, 1641 rebellion. So great to have these old ruins of the church, isn't it? And this is the Echelon family burial vault, as you can see. So you're looking at a real piece of history, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen here. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. No doubt about it. And of course, this goes back to the 17th century, the 1600s. Robert died in 1635. So quite amazing, isn't it? Now there's also a United Irish man who's buried here. And I haven't been able to locate his grave as yet. But hopefully I will be able to if I can. And his name was James Maxwell. And he died fighting for the United Irishmen during the uh, 1798 rebellion. Whenever the rebels held all of North Down and Ords. And also uh, buried here at... Uh, he's buried here actually at this graveyard in Temple Cranley. So pretty amazing. And of course not many people realise it. But <laughs> Newton Ords, the town of Newton Ords was actually a republic. For a very short time whenever the rebels uh, took it over so you've heard of Oliver Cromwell and the uh, Republican the Republican England for a time well the town of Newton Ords was a republic as well under the United Irishman just for a brief period until it was recaptured by the soldiers this is now the back of the uh, Echelon crypt So we're inside what would be the would have been the church. And of course, the family who built the castle were big landowners here, and they were the Savage family. And they were actually Anglo-Normans. And uh, they built the castle in the uh, 1500s. And this is a monument to those. And it's also their burial place as well. 
Underneath lie the bodies of the of Pat Savage of Portaferry Esquire, who departed this life on its thirteenth day of September seventeen twenty four, died thirty two years of age, and his four sons, uh, Pat Savage, eldest son, who died thirteenth of June seventeen twelve, he was twenty five. That's Franz Savage Esquire, third son who died 8th of January 1722, aged 26 years, of, I think that's Rose Savage, the square second son, who died May 23rd, 1725, aged 35 years, and of, I'm not sure what that says, it's M-A-R something, Savage, alias Price, wife to said, I think that's Ron, I think, I'm not sure, but it says who died, I think that's April 1721, it's 27 years, and then it goes on there, so that's the Savage burial plot as well, and they were a big Anglo-Norman family. They, they, they're an ancient family here in uh, in Portaferry, and so the later descendants of that Anglo-Norman family are actually buried here. So fantastic. So there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed our wee tour here of the cemetery, and I'll have a wee look round and see if I can see any more graves, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to find something of interest. So thanks for watching and God bless.